You want to know the most interesting Ant Marshall ever made? Well, it's this guy right here. That's right. The lead 12. This little solid state. This is a 1 by 12. I'm sure you've seen it in head form, which is even cooler. Uh, that looks like this. Uh, first time I saw it, I think I was watching Headbangers Ball and Steve Vai was uh, guest hosting. Hello, this is Steve Vai. You're watching Headbangers Ball. Uh, maybe when the White Snake album came out and he, that's what he was playing through. I think like a little boss pedal and the Marshall Lead 12 stack. Uh, it didn't sound that great there, but it looked so cool. I mean, it looked like a full stack, just uh, E and wee bitty. So you could get them now for 200 to 400 bucks. If you're gonna pay 400 bucks, you're, you've just gotta really want it. Uh, if you could steal one for 150, I got this for 150, probably because it's a combo and not a head. Uh, but it turns out the combo actually, uh, if you can unlock its secrets, are super cool. Uh, how I became aware of this amp is that uh, Bob Bradshaw apparently was using them as sort of a preamp. They were nice and small, but pretty light, solid state, so they're easy to uh, maintain. And you could throw them in the back of a rack, and that was one extra preamp channel. So I believe Lukather had it in his rack for a while, and Trevor Rabin had it in his rack for a while, and then God knows how many other people there. But this must have been really secret behind Lukather's thing. I've never seen a picture of it in Lukather's rack, but um, it's sort of the, the rumors on the interwebs are that he's had it in his, uh, his rack, which kind of makes sense because if he was using the X88, he probably is gonna want something else in between that one and three. So two is, you know, has had kind of a weird gain level and stuff. So this might've been the, the choice there, the, a nice alternative to channel two on the uh, Saldano Pre. So uh, let's first just plug it in and let me show you what we're looking at here. I'm gonna do that in the room. Oh man, that is not exciting. Turn down a little bit. Let's put a little overdrive. There's no bottom end coming from this thing whatsoever. I would be terrified to put in headphones, so I'm not even going to do that. It's going to get cooler. Let me go plug it in. Put a ribbon mic on the speaker, which has this huge bottom end to help compensate for the big lack of bottom end, and it starts to become something. <laughs> So now the real fun stuff is you take the line out of the lead 12. It looks cooler on the head, on the combo. It looks kind of derpy having two wires sticking out the front. Anyway, you take the line out of the lead 12, you plug it in to the best power amp ever made, the VHT 2150. Uh, maybe the classic's the best, I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a battle, either way. And now you've got something pretty cool going on. And then you put some of that like Lukather goo on it and you get some of that Lukather era stuff.
That's not half bad. Let's see how far we can push this thing. Uh, high gain, gain all the way up, more volume, more treble, less mids, more bass. Uh, maybe less bass, it's flubbing out there. No mids. <laughs> oh, I mean, that sounds so much better, though. Am I playing that right? Well, it's not like it's oozing with uh, harmonic compression and juiciness, but uh, it's a sound and it's fun and that's kind of all it does. pleasing sound in there. What this really just proves is that you could almost plug anything into a VHT power amp and uh, it's going to sound awesome. So 